Material or Angie Garcia Art. I'm kind of going by both those names right now. I'm doing a little revamping again this new year. I'm always revamping my my art business. Um, sorry, I've been absent for a couple of months. I had a personal leave for a few, well, it was like two and a half months. I uh, was taking care of my 83-year-old grandmother, which was a, a blessing. She's so fun. Um, I'm just blessed to even have a grand grandmother um, at my age. So we had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, lots of memories. It was a lot of fun. She's doing okay. She just needed somebody to help her out for a while. And we uh, cleaned her house and we cooked dinner and all kinds of stuff. It was fun. I have a very supportive husband who helped me through that all. And uh, yeah, so now I'm back and I thought I would pop out a journal really quick. Not really quick. I'm actually kind of slow at it. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is for Tracy Fox with Love Junk Journals. And you can find her on Etsy and YouTube and Facebook, obviously. Um, she's, here's the uh, kits that I use. I use the Love Junk Journals, the French Ephemera, the Japanese Art Script Labels, and the Relic Fragments. These are all new kits that she just came up with. Her kits are amazing. If you guys do not know Tracy, which I'm sure everybody knows Tracy, run over there and buy her kits they are amazing everything works very very well together obviously i just use three <laughs> this one this one was kind of a challenge it's was you know a little bit different from what i'm working with but i always am able to think about it and hone it in and then kind of do something on my own with my own style so i'm calling this ancient um what was i calling this sorry guys ancient fragments no no it's not ancient fragments ancient uh, relics ancient relics there we go <laughs> anyway sorry I'm not gonna re-record re this I'm doing this on my phone for the first time so um, ancient relics here we go I usually think about things before I record a video but hey <laughs> this one's gonna be a raw video <laughs> um, so here is the front cover and this we'll just go with the spine really quick since we're there I thought I would try this with my phone because I can get up close you know, with, with my webcam, I cannot do this, so. Um, so, I picked things that I thought were kind of ancient, metals, rust, um, you know, some textile. I thought that was fun. And so, here's the cover. These are some rusty washers. I just wrapped wire around the whole book. This is a gutted book, and uh, it was a fairly new book, so I aged it. As you can see back here. I aged it, and everything's sealed. And then this is some starry ribbon, which will take off so you can see the cover better, obviously. Right over here. So here's the cover, you guys. So this is one of Tracy's digitals, and I just wrapped it around here, around the book. So I made it smaller so it would wrap around on either border. And then I enhanced um, to my style her digitals. I just did some mark making on them. Um, I don't want to take away from her kits because those are obviously her kits, but all I did was just kind of add some color to it so I could kind of kind of have a fun color theme throughout the journal. Um, so I just did some mark making on here with some paint markers. So it turned out really cool, I think. A lot of fun. And Tracy allows you to do that as long as you're not totally defacing it and you can't tell that it's her kit, right? You want to be careful with that. So, and then I put encaustic over it, which I do with a lot of my journals. This one isn't drippy. This is more kind of scattered throughout um, throughout the journals on the back as well. There you can see it. If you buff it up, you can make it shinier. So, and also one other thing, um, I kind of have the t signatures popping out a little bit, a quarter of an inch around. And then here is my tab. I did something different. I just wrapped a wire around the tab and then put a little gypsy bell. Um, on the three tabs. So here we go you guys. Okay, let's try this So here is the inside of the front cover with some of Tracy's tags And then I did a little bit of abstract painting in here. I thought it'd be fun to add some of my abstract painting in here I love painting in all forms all styles uh, These are Tracy's I kept them kind of simple um, I just kind of antiqued them or grunged them up a little bit more and then kept them simple and this is one of her um, kits, the Japanese, uh, art script labels, 
And so I just wrapped a wire around that. And then here's obviously the paper clip. And then I just wrapped a wire around that. I just glued it on. Put those back later. Okay, here's the, I oh, did some scribbles and stuff like that. And just one pocket in here. And here's the front cover, you guys. I did something different. I thought this was fun. Again, this is her kit, one of her pages from her kits. And I, there's a lot of sewing. All the, all the uh, pages are sewn together. Um, I did like a little collage with the number one. I usually put like a one here. But I didn't want to put it down here and put a stamp. I kind of want to do something different. So I came up with this little like, collage idea. And this is just metal. I just bent it up to have the, the number one. So I'm going to go for the first signature. And then we'll flip, go fast to the next ones because they, they're the same. So I did some more abstract painting. I thought that was fun. This is uh, different kinds of paper in here. Like I said, we'll go through it. Everything's sewn in, like I said. This is a little abstract envelope and just put something in there. Show that up a little bit closer. I love abstract painting. Like I said, I love all kinds of painting. I'll just go through these. These are all tea stained. Lots of... Um, Another abstract painting on the front and the back. And then these are also removable, you guys. I, not all of my journals so far have been removable. And here's the elastic right here running through. You can just pop these out. And also these are not sewn with the signature so you can reuse your signature cover as well. Okay, here's the second one. And again, I just did mark making. And then here's another little one of my style, I guess my take on the um, altered paper clips. <laughs> so this is a paper clip and I just um, grunged it up and used a lot of textiles and more sorry ribbon and stuff like that just to go with the journal. Mark making and my string of course that I like to do. And then um, here's some abstract painting. And then we'll go right to the center because the envelope is different. It's orange. And of course there's my number five. I have a video if you always want to know how to back these with the metal. Um, I do it two ways with uh, tin and faux silver tape. So if you're interested in that, that, I'll try to get that down below. Again, elastic. And then the end of this signature, which is in orange. I, like I said, I think they look so cool just adding this around. And I forgot to tell you on the back of these signatures, I just did some... Um, made my own like symbols I guess you'd call them symbols on here I thought it went well so this is the back and then obviously Tracy's papers in front and then my pages in back I just took some India ink and did some some of that um, symbols and then glued it onto here I thought they turned really cool it's really textile and bumpy and fun stuff okay let me start here there's signature with the three. I guess if you saw the two, here's the three. Tracy's digital. Little bell wire wrapped around there. My abstract. These are all different. These are all painted individually. Okay. And then we'll go to the center. There's the number six to flip out. And the elastic. We'll go to the back. Here's the paint, another painting, a couple paintings. And then the back. There's the symbols on this back of this signature. And then here we go, you guys. There's an envelope we'll do a little bit different. Uh, more abstracty instead of um, doing the layers of paint. But it'd be fun, something different. Um, let me go in here. I got a couple things in here. Three things in here, if I can get the third one. There we go. There's a tag. One of Tracy's digitals, and then I just did a little bit of painting, and you can finish these off. I didn't. I just kind of started it for you. So these are starters. Another little tag to start off on. And one more. This one's an envelope. And there you go, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Tracy, for allowing me to be on your DT. I had last, I don't know how long, a couple years at least now. <laughs> um, it's been, I've had a great time. You're a sweetheart. You're you're amazing to work for, and I couldn't feel more blessed. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. 
it's super sunny out. Uh, I'm going to go water the lawn as Abby would laugh at me <laughs> and Michelle and Laurel. Uh, anyways, but thank you uh, for stopping for by. comments, likes. I really appreciate it. Um, again, I apologize for my absence, but I'm sure you all understand. Family kind of comes first when needed. With that said, talk to you later. Bye-bye.